There we go, everything's good to go. gonna do what's wrong this dog came up with a book in its mouth here take a look huh it looks pretty old I've never seen this kind of writing before it's not ancient Avarost that's for sure part of it looks like a chronology so maybe it's a history book if a I were to book. guess I'd say they're Meliodasian characters which would peg it at about 2,000 years old it's more recent than Avarost but the writing has fallen completely out of use all kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? So He's Hans a weird wife. kid who's way into Daughter studying Mr. history. Satan. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. <laughs> All I was thinking is, shut up, I want to pick up that plant. The new chest? Was that not there before? In, or did... Oh, that's a chest I've already got before. Maybe it was something I already had and I just couldn't pick My it up. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? For Videl? Are you Videl? Is this yours? A girl name. My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh, you have a girl I'm name. Lobby set. I you hope you don't name. mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the Age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two. All worked up over an old book. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. <sighs> We've received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah, my dad was just out there doing heroin. Cocaine. Selling some dope on the side. Until he got arrested for it. Thanks for your help, Videl. And probably after. Videl, 
Your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? I don't Did know you. you. Prove it? I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. Water, I've only translated heart. one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? For booze. The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Fun Videl. brains, they're really good with languages. Well, they used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Luffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, Darkly. I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. Higher than class it's a classification three. the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy. An estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, 
These are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class Four administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. Scout ship. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! E you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> And you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <sighs> I can find that monster I missed. until I find myself at the boss. Here I come. Face me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I missed that. Being bad at exploring. When I was coming through here, I even remarked that I didn't find as many plants as I felt I should have. Thought he's about to catch me when I got stuck on that corner. Been avoiding the meaningless battles for the most part. Now and then I do one because I get the urge or I'm feeling rusty. I just came from. I'm stupid. Three things that are usually around uh, the little war poles really give you a false positive. Probably by design. Okay. Through that wall next to it. Going through this warp will get to a thing to go down into it from. Oh. Guess I just missed this whole little part right here when I came through the first time. Believe me. Let's rectify. Exile server I play on, they just made a new rule that you can't build walls and shit while you're being raided. That's one way to fight back against getting raided. Ridiculous that they would make that against the rules. It's part of the game. You're allowed to repair, but you're not allowed to rebuild. Now uh, this server has some silly rules and enforces them sporadically. You know, it decides who they feel like enforcing it for and when. But that one is just ridiculous. It's also the highest population server and one of the most stable, so I'm not gonna leave over it. But I am gonna express that I think it is dumb. 
See one pop out when I die. Oh, you little fuckhead. My Mystic Art, you fuckhead! Aw, someone stole my kill. I we wanted a Mystic Art finish. That gives you extra drops and shit, so a Mystic Art finish on that would be quite good. But somebody got it. pink shirt. Sacrifices quite a bit of armor, but I really like that uh, bonus to the attack. And considering I spend half the fight being unkillable, might as well. What they said earlier in the game about there being ten of those things, I just killed the last one. Guess I'll find out when I go turn in for the reward. Try to get the fuck out of here. I think I got it. No, I don't think I ever fought the zombies in here. I avoided all of them. I'm gonna fight them just because I haven't. Come on, really? Kill. It is crumbled. Oh, 
almost tempted to attack them and try to farm them. But I've been avoiding pointless battles and don't want to overlevel. Went the wrong way. Almost. Oh, wow. Ready for this? Mindlessly ran right into him. I was just looking at Discord. The Mystic Dark, so I wanted the Mystic you Finish. Too. Didn't work out. He was like, nah, man, that's overkill. Don't do that. go next? Do I go straight for that class 4 island? Do I explore that little dungeon I backed out of before because I didn't save and I didn't want to end up getting killed? Do I just continue with the storyline? Worry about extra stuff later? Decisions, decisions. Your compassion for me. Okay. Alternatively, I could do none of the above, and I could go make food and eat it. All I've eaten today is fucking donuts, which are disgusting and not exactly nutritious. I mean, I guess them being disgusting doesn't have anything to do with how much food I should eat. But donuts are disgusting. Okay, freshly made gourmet donuts are okay. 
these are giant eagle donuts. They are not that. They are not fresh. They are not gourmet. They are not good. Two of them, and I feel like garbage. I kind of want to get real food in my stomach. Gotta be counteracted a little bit. Hey, you got some new gear while I was in there, huh? Pass up a sale. Like those too. When I was a kid, I had two rabbits, uh, Max and 99. And one day, Max snapped. He killed 99. So my mom sent him to go live on a farm. And I know that sounds like a cutesy thing your parent tells you about your animal that they had put down. No, he literally went to go live on a farm. Where he killed three more rabbits, and then they put him down. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, five? I guess uh, my mom was pretty honest with me, seeing how I knew that at five. You know, maybe don't tell your kid about your serial killer rabbit. I mean, you keep some things from kids. Anything special for feeding all ten? I'm guessing there's more, even though it said something about 10 most wanted red things at the start of the game. I'm betting there's still more. Another shirt. A remote island that's right off the coast. This is more remote than this. Right by your big old Seagate. Which of these things should I go for? The Neglected Dungeon? I'll go with the Neglected Dungeon. It was there first. The main story is what's going to give me the unlocks to jump across things and get through to more places. Maybe I shouldn't do exploring until I get that ability. I think that's reasonable. Because if I explore shit and then, oh, here's a dead end, I'm going to have to come back and explore it again. Fuck that. So, main story. story until I get the ability to it's too jump. Bad that wasn't the real I freed but I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better yeah though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again <laughs> what about Eleanor she took it too and her face went all Wah! I don't mean how she looked I mean how she actually feels oh well she looks like she feels better, too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No. It's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? 
Mogilu, quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Solitoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Said earlier. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Ew. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. They're native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. Hm? You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough Buzz. of the chit-chat. Mogilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm, well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh... You know, like that. Like what? Oh... <sighs> Well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chapoom! Bye bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. 
Let's question the townsfolk. Silence. Good timing. Somebody take a break. Show them how I. Then I'm gonna eat that food. <laughs> 